You might know Oxford Uni as the most prestigious university in the world, or you might know it from Harry Potter. But let me tell you, it's not all studies and magic. These lot know how to throw a good party. Unlimited booze, unlimited food, endless entertainment, then the whole shebang lasts 12 hours, ends at 6 a.m. But the tickets cost 196 pounds. Oh. Uh, dress code is white tie, but quite a few people just dress smart-ish. But there was also an option to wear national dress. Oh, nice. All right, all right. We're getting a bit ahead of ourselves here. So let's take you from the start to the end on how these balls, parties, whatever you want to call them, go. Obviously, first thing is we need to get to Oxford from London. Nice one, looking a bit ridiculous in Paddington Station, but it's all good. Made it to Oxford and just like any big party, get your wristbands because, oh my days, they checked it so many times. Got a little pint to get the blood moving, you know what I mean, mate, you know what I mean? After that, you get your girlfriend to wrap you up in this gorgeous little red um, belt. I don't know what to call it, it's traditional wearing, yeah, you get me? Get the flute on, bada boom, bada bing. Yeah, there was 1,800 people, I think, at this Yeah. Look at this line. Yeah, we waited like an hour to get in, to be honest. It was long. Do you want to go and leave the stick? Yeah. Ow. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> First things first, cloak room obviously, leave all the garbage, and then champers, what is Prosecco? Classical music, I was feeling very posh, mate. Oh, like a little fish and chips goujon thing. Mm. Let's go, go. <laughs> Got a little Mexican thing going on. Yeah, at this point, to be honest, I was just like, where am I? This is just outrageous. They had their own beer. Like, what? Who does that? Yeah, I mean, look at, look at the settings, mate. I uh, had a bit of a like, little Indian thing. Yeah, I was banging, mate. And then it's just, it just sort of just kept going. It keeps going, mate. Every time I think it's over, there's more stuff. Okay, let's go. Is that anything? Sorry. I'm guessing they're probably. Get the donuts. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, I think they need a bit more trajectory. It was just impossible to just see and do everything. There was so much going on, it was crazy. Like there was pole dancers, I didn't even know they were there. And you don't miss the pole dancers, do you know what I mean? So and I didn't even mention Muramasa was headlining the whole thing. I mean, I don't think he particularly cared. I don't think this was like a bucket list thing for him. But still, it was Muramasa. It was pretty sick. And after that, there was this ABBA act that was 10 10. After that, we hit up the shisha, which was kind of rubbish, not gonna lie. And at 3 a.m., they shut down the music and it was silent disco time, baby. Yeah, it's all going down in Oxford, mate. And from here on, it was kind of the same. Just kept listening to music, having a little boogie, chatting to people, just what you do at parties. Instead, it was just doing it in St. John's College, right? Playing golf, I didn't actually play any golf, but whatever. We didn't even know this area existed, to be honest, so that was weird. And there's us leaving our headphones and heading for the like picture, the survivor's picture. There it is. There was meant to be some breakfast, but no breakfast left, mate. It's 6 a.m. Oh, it's the end, mate. 
Yeah. You're gonna bash me on the head again.